Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. All right, everybody. Man, I'll be honest. I just cannot get used to this new look. My hair is gone from the top of my head. It's gone from the bottom of my head. I just, I don't know. I look like a fucking different person. Oh my gosh, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I don't know what I've done, but you can't cry over spilt milk, so I'm not going to. Look guys, we're on to number 14 of the uh, top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time. Today, I, uh, we're doing Sammy Bo, or Sammy Bo, I'm not sure how you say his name, but he played for the Washington Redskins. I don't have any Washington gear, but what I do have is my boy, Fournette. Number 27, what a beautiful jumper. What an absolutely, what a, what a stunning top. I, really, I, I love my boy Leonard Fournette, I really do. Um, he's, he's definitely one of my favorite players, favorite running backs. And um, he's lethal, man. He's lethal, he's, he's a bit taller than most, which I like. He's my height, which, which makes me happy. And um, we're not talking about Leonard Fournette. <laughs> Why am I fucking talking about him? I don't know. We're talking about Sammy Bohr. So, uh, without further ado, I want to say thanks for being here. Uh, we're going to roll the intro, and I'll see you back here in a minute. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Oh. Okay. Let's go, Sammy. Hall of Fame quarterback for the Washington Redskins. We'll talk about some of the great players of his era. My dad only played in league one year in, in 41, but he had great respect for him. And Is that Bill Belichick back in 2009? Um, and what he meant to the game. He, I think it is. In which case, I suppose I can wear this. God, these are some contradicting colors, I'll tell you that, but it doesn't matter. Ball, both as a person and as a football player. Sammy Ball always belonged to the young, like a larger-than-life hero who stepped out of a Saturday matinee. Slinging Sammy Ball. That man killed my father. Tom Jean. Well, you're working on a sabotage case. Sabotage. On the silver screen, Slim and Sammy saved the day by land, by sea, and by air. <laughs> wow. He was a triple threat on the football field, too. Sammy Ball would be a combination of today's version of Tom Brady, Brian Mormon, and Ed Reed. Three all-star players at their positions all rolled into one. Sammy was a league leading passer, a league leading punter, and a league leading interceptor. So uh, to have wow. guys uh, on your fantasy football team with just having one player, uh, that would really be the, that would be the trifecta. When you're on the field, you got to feel like you're the best strong bitches out there. As a quarterback, Ball was just that. In the 30s and 40s, he took the forward pass, traditionally a last resort, and made it the weapon of choice for his Washington Redskins. That is very, very interesting. The forward pass was, was traditionally the last resort back then in the 30s and 40s, which means that they model, modeled their gameplay after rugby, which they did. Um, the forward pass is, is not allowed in the game of rugby. Now you guys wouldn't call it a backwards pass, you'd call it a lateral. But they're very effective because if your player on either your left or the right is, is within the right distance, is keeping you know, the right spacing between you and him, that is such an easy pass to do. I mean, if you've got one defender in front and you've got you and your other player who's behind you, not in front, you can easily run up to your defender, draw him in until he commits to the tackle, and then do a little lateral pass. Whereas if you're a quarterback standing back and that defender is, is now covering your guy who's in front of you, your receiver, 
it's like they've got a way better chance of, of picking it off because the quarterback is, you know, he's just, he's just, although if those two players are up ahead and they take the pressure off the quarterback, then the quarterback can run. So, you know, I, I don't know, man. I've really, I, I, I can't wait to actually play this game and, and find out on the field what works and what doesn't. Because looking back, I'm in my chair here in Alice Springs, it's like, yeah, I can watch fucking hundreds of videos, but I'm never going to really find out exactly how things work and, how, and, you know, what the game of inches really means. Like, let's be honest, man. The game of inches, if I see things happen on the field that, like, if it was inches either way, it, they wouldn't happen. I'm going to start probably respecting that saying a lot more. And uh, to be honest, right now I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm rambling like fuck. We're on number 14. I think my brain's getting a bit scrambled by this point, but man. Respect to Sammy. He was the leading passer, the leading kicker, and the leading interceptor in the whole league. Now that's something. The thing that really stood out about uh, Ball was his deep passing accuracy. The ball was fatter, it was, it was thicker, and, and not as easy to grip as it is today. And he had tremendous ability to throw the ball down the field, a lot of times on the run, or avoiding pressure as he was stepping into the throw, and put it right on the money. Defensively, uh, just watching him play free safety, the range that he showed back there, um, you know, when the ball was in the air, he covered ground in a hurry, he ran well, tall, had long arms, and really had great range, so he played the ball very well. As a punter, he was just so far ahead of everybody else. There still has not been a player that's averaged, uh, you know, what he's averaged punting the ball in one season. What did he average? 55 yards? Ball averaged 51.4 yards. Whoa! 51.4 yards per punt. Now that is some consistency. One of many records he still holds today. Ball led the league. With the ball like that? That's insane, man. That really is. Passing six times. A feat matched only by Steve Young. What did he do? Six times? In 1943, he led the league in passing, hunting, and punts. A feat match. What did he do? 51.4 yards per punt. One of many records he still holds today. Ball led the league in passing six times. Six times. A feat matched only Pass. by Steve Young. In 1943, he led the league in passing, hunting, and interceptions. Thanks in part to a game for the ages. Unquestionably, one of the ball's most memorable games will be against Detroit, where he had four interceptions and four touchdowns in the same game. That's uh, uh, like in the cycle four times in baseball, I think. How could you, like, I'm just thinking, okay, so he takes an interception, he runs 40 yards down the field, gets tackled. Okay, the defense goes off, the offense comes on, but he just stays on there and starts fucking throwing it as a quarterback. It's like, the cardio must have been next level. Unheard of in today's game. Ball won two NFL championships and was unanimously elected a first ballot charter member of the Hall of Fame. So he was literally, no, what do they call it when, when uh, you're playing both sides of the field? I can't remember what they call it, but literally this guy was one position on each of the three teams, wasn't he? He was a quarterback on offense, a safety on defense, and a kicker on special teams. Hmm. He and George Hallis received... In 1952, like any good movie cowboy, Ball rode into the sunset. I'm a country boy and I like the country. If I want to walk out in the yard and take a leak, I will walk out in the yard and take a leak. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same way, bruh. That's what I love doing in my own fucking house. Walking out in the yard and taking a leak. The final guy by nature, even though his football status brought him into that celebrity. That wasn't really what he was in it for. He was in it to, to play football and to win and, and to have fun doing it and, and to be with his family and be in his roots in Texas. Santa Ball, no question about it. He was a special player. Oh, yes, he was. In 1943, he led the league in passing yards, punting yards, and interceptions. What the fuck? What the hell? That would never happen today, would it? What an absolute legend. 
Man, oh my god, I've just seen the next one. Joe Green, would you believe? Mean Joe Green. Now, I've been... I've... I've... Uh, now, I've been meaning to watch this guy for ages, so I'm... I'm f that's fantastic. You know what? I've got some Texas stuff to put on, too. So, uh, I'll see you back here for that one. If you have enjoyed this, this video, number 14, hit the like button, as always. If you want to subscribe, please do. And uh, apologies about the colour scheme, man. Red, black, and teal, it's just, it's, it's not going well. In the next video, I'll be in some mean green stuff. But actually, I don't know how that's going to work, because I do have a green screen behind me. So... <laughs> I might start disappearing, but we'll, we'll, we'll cross that hurdle when we get there. So I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.